Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, if I could talk to you guys honestly now that everything is in the works. I have signed up to be treated by hospice care. Now, I know that hospice care is for the end, but it is also for whenever you're not receiving treatment. So right now, I'm off of all treatments because of the side effects being so bad. And I don't know going forward what treatment I'll be on if again. So the social worker who came from the Department of Health and Human Services recommended to go ahead and get enrolled in hospice care. Um, I had my doctor sign that I wasn't taking any treatments now because I don't know how long it's going to be. Originally, I was thinking I was going back on April 28th to um, the oncologist. However, my side effects are not healing at a rate that's going to get me back next week. That's basically a week from Thursday, right? Because it's today's the 19th. So Thursday's the 21st and that's a week from the 21st. So I don't think I'm a week away from being better to stop medication again. But the good news is the hospice visiting nurse, she'll, she'll flush my port. They can draw blood work. The things that I would do at the, at the oncologist, if I wasn't getting infused, I would still have to get my port flushed and I would still have to get blood work drawn. So they can come and do that. The visiting nurse service can do that here. Plus they can do wound care at home, which is great. Totally 100% help me take care of all my boo-boos. Problem is I have to keep the leg open to the air. So nobody can help me dress that until bedtime and the Jimmy's the man. But I did have the visiting nurse help me dress my back and I did my fronts so that um, Jimmy didn't have to do that. So that was a big help. What do you think, babe? Big help? Yes, it was. So I wanted to thank you. Um, if you're watching, <laughs> um, my visiting nurse um, is a cancer survivor and has a lot of personal insight. She said I was a hospice nurse or she said hospice nurse for a lot of years and then got cancer. I think that's what she said. So it's nice to really talk to her about stuff, not only as her being my care provider, but also her... Um, first person perspective, you know, from a patient perspective. The other thing is, um, the social work aspect. I feel like, Jimmy, did you feel like you got some good work out of that today? Yeah. So the, so I, I do too. So social work came today to talk to us, just to really tell, talk to us about all the things that the future holds. Things that we've kind of, not necessarily actively been avoiding, but like really we haven't been talking about, um, even though I'm not ready to go tomorrow, nobody knows, you know. So she was asking stuff like a DNR. And I was like, well, right now I'm not close to the cancer killing me dead. But I do have a long history of like heart disease. So I don't want to like have a DNR because if like my heart stops for like any reason, I don't want them to not let me live. Like if the cancer is not going to kill me for 10 years, I'd like to just have those 10 years or whatever. So I'm not ready for a DNR yet. <laughs> But I also told Jim whatever he wants to do. My my own thing was, as long as there's a brain cell. Now, I say that in all honesty because people have, like, been almost brain dead with just a few cells left and have come back and remembered everything. And then there are people who have been in comas with, like, little brain activity who have come back and not remembered anything. So, it's like you really don't know until, you know, a miracle happens. So, I'm all for miracles. Miracles happen all the time. I, you know, medical miracles, especially. So I'm like, whatever, you know, you really want to do. You want to wait, wait, keep me, keep me plugged in until everybody can come say goodbye. That's fine. Um, but in my personal opinion, if I still have a brain cell working, <laughs> I'll do my best. But anyway, I'm not trying to lighten the situation. I'm not trying to laugh about the situation, but I'm also like, I don't, it's a heavy situation, but it doesn't have to be. The reason I say that is because if you're right with God, if you're right with yourself, if you're right with the world, and you know that I have a lot of life to live and I have a lot of things that I want to do, but I also know that I've lived a good life and I've had love in my life and all these things. And if I needed to go tomorrow, it would be on good terms, if that makes any sense. So getting right with yourself is kind of where it's at, you know? Um... Yeah, I don't have a death wish or anything, but I just like, 
you know, uh, what I, that's what I said to her. I was like, I, I don't know, you know, if we, I'm sorry, just tucking that bandage in. I said, you know, if we, um, you never know what's going to happen, you know. She was asking about uh, what kind of services you think you would have. And I said, what I talked to Jim about, I said, it really depends. If I slowly am dying over the course of a month and everybody's had a chance to have closure and say goodbye to me, you might not need to have a service. However, if for some reason I throw a blood clot or something, God forbid, knock on wood, and I, and I go tomorrow, you never, nobody really had the closure, so you might want to have a service. But I told him, like I told my sister and I told everybody, I won't be there. So whatever you need to do, you guys do. You discuss it amongst yourselves. So there is that. Um, what else? So that was good that she came and we're going to get um, services. They're going to have somebody come and help me take a shower and make the bed. And then there's going to be somebody coming, a homemaker, to give us two hours of, well, Jimmy, really, two hours of housekeeping a week, which is whatever two hours. I said, even if he does, Jimmy, Jimmy does like a deep clean on the counters every weekend. So even if he deep cleans the counters and just saves two hours of Jimmy having to do that every weekend, you know, like that is perfect. Um, so... But things otherwise are really good. Today was a good day. I got to visit with a lot of people. But not until the afternoon. <laughs> um, my lips are like weird because they're like still chapping. And I am putting lots of medication. I don't know if I'm dehydrated. Like, I don't know if my kidneys aren't functioning properly. Or if I'm not taking enough liquid. Um, so I don't really know about that part. Like, so I'm just monitoring what I'm taking in and... That kind of thing. My digestive system is working a little bit better each day, which is great. My back is, my wounds are healing a little bit better each day. My mouth is getting a little bit better each day. I am pushing my mouth a little bit towards the edge because I really want to um, eat the things that I missed. A uh, perfect example is I finally got my gluten free breakfast pizza from Casey's. I got it with ham, bacon, and sausage, cheese sauce. And the cheese with extra egg. I always add extra egg for the protein. Um, the gluten-free crust is kind of thin, but it's soft still, so that's good. And I finally got it today. I was like, and Jimmy's, I was, did you eat it all? I was like, did you eat it all? I was like, you kidding? I had, I said, put two pieces. There's four pieces left. They cut it in six pieces. So I was like, four pieces left. Put two in each Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. So one night, one morning for breakfast, when he's on his way to work, he can just zip them in the microwave. The gluten-free crust is... Because I'm I'm not able to eat hard food just yet, like really hard food. Normally, I toast my pizza warm. I like it better that way. But when you microwave your pizza, it makes the crust a little softer. <clears throat> so, I was like, just freeze it. What is that? What is that? Baby, what is this? Can you come look? What is that on my arm? Dirt? No, it looked like you got a little bitty... Something or other that you must have scratched and bled. And oh, like the bread, the blood spread. Okay, yeah. I was looking in the, I was looking in the font. Now I have gross Jimmy Jams on me. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> <clears throat> so, other than that, sorry about that. So, Alicia, when you're watching this video, I just hung up with you. I was about to say, Grandma and Grandpa got to go to bed soon, and I got to finish vlogging. So I started to say, Grandma and Grandpa got to go. And she's like, bye, good night. And I was like, no, I just, I got to finish this vlog. So I talked to my sister, Alicia. She always makes me happy. She always makes me cry. I love it. She makes me home, feel like home and miss home at the same time. So you know how that is. Um, she told me, don't waste my money on the movie, the Dumbledore movie. <laughs> She doesn't know I have very low standards <laughs> when it comes to entertainment. But I most likely wasn't going <laughs> anyway just because of the fact that I want to be in the movie theater. And, you know, COVID and germs and stuff are still out there. So, Plus, right now, I can't even with the leg and the brace and the whole bit. So, it is what it is. So, what else? What else did I want to share with you? I wanted to share with you how blessed I am that hospice is a great organization that I am so 
I don't want to say proud isn't the right word, but I'm so, um, I don't know, in ecstatic in awe of these, um, these people. Um, they just are so wonderful. Every single person that's come into my home so far has just been above and beyond wonderful and caring and nurturing. So I wanted to thank them if you're watching this. Um, J, L, B, <laughs> all the people. <laughs> um, I will have somebody come every day except Wednesday. And then I did talk to the social worker today. She's like, I'd love to come back and visit. Do you have any? I was like, I don't, nobody's coming to visit me on Wednesdays. You want to come Wednesdays? So I just thought that was funny. So like I said, today was a good day. Um, I hope every day from here on gets better and better and better and better. Um, I can't wait for the leg wounds to heal because I want to get in the chair. I just want to sit up again. I actually had my wedge up till a little while ago. I, I was able to like lean and lay and I was kind of good. So, <sighs> oh, I started to tell you before the phone rang about me cleaning and organizing. So Jimmy brought me these, let me see, grab one. These sort of little Dollar Tree things that they had. And like this one has the toothpaste, toothbrush and lip stuff. Um, this one has the wound care stuff, which is like tape and the Scentsy. Um, they basically, I have these like adhesive remover things that I got from my doctor friend. And then this one has all the lotion tubes and stuff, which that was my real motivation is that the lotion tubes, they don't stand up. Like even if they're in one of these, even if they're in one of these, they don't really stand properly. And I just made a whole mess. Excuse me. Um, sorry. Sorry, everybody put my toothpaste back um just want to get that lip balm out uh, boy it seemed like a good idea to show you everything and then I messed you up okay where did it go hmm Paste. next to my toothbrush oh it was cute when the nurse was here she was like going to all my medicine and she's like now what's this and I was like that's toothpaste because <laughs> she was going through all the lotions and the the uh steroid creams and everything she's like so what's this and I was like that's toothpaste she's like okay we'll leave that um uh, anyhow so yeah it's a good day to have a good day tomorrow I'm gonna venture into chunky peanut butter again We'll see how that goes because I'm almost done with the smooth. But again, I'm getting a little bit better. It's getting better every day. Now, I wanted to remark on something. Somebody was saying how disgusting it looks, that it looks like I scraped this out with my finger. I don't scrape this out with my finger. First of all, if I wanted to, my business, that's fine. But I do eat out of these jars. Now, I've mentioned this a thousand times. Nobody in my household eats this peanut butter but me. It is for me to help me manage my hunger and it's a good protein with a low in sugar and it is a great source of nutrition for me. I'm not allergic to peanuts and peanuts are like, again, high in protein, low in sugar. This particular one is also, doesn't have a ton of salt in it either. It doesn't have enough. I love it. Not everybody does. Um, so I keep these giant jars. They're just for me and I keep them by me where I sit. So like either in the living room, on the couch, or again here at the uh, at the bedside. So yes, that's my jar of peanut butter exclusively for me. We have plenty of peanut butter in the house for company. Or Jim's got his own peanut butter. Mom's got her own peanut butter. We all like different kinds of peanut butter. So that's why. So yes, just to, just to touch base on that. What else? Anything you can think of you wanted me to tell? No. no, he said, I don't know. So I'm going to go. But listen, if nobody's told you today that you're loved, remember, you can always come by and hear how much I love you because I do. I love you very, very much. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Let's say goodbye. Bye.